Hi, my name is Rich Blakemore. Welcome to Business Accounting 101. Today, I want to introduce you to your break-even point. Now, your break-even point is one of those foundational numbers in your business. And if you don't know what it is, there's a fair chance you're probably going broke. So let's have a look at it. So what is your break-even point? Well, your break-even point is the point at which you stop working for everyone else and start working for yourself. It can be measured in sales revenue, number of sales, or number of trading days. So how is it calculated? Your break-even point in trading days is your fixed expenses divided by your average gross profit margin per sale divided by your average number of sales per trading day. Okay, sounds, sounds difficult to calculate, but let's, let's get some definitions sorted out. Fixed expenses are also known as indirect expenses, and these are the costs of keeping the doors open that do not directly relate to the volume of products or services sold. For example, your rent, telephone, staff salaries, stationery, coffee, legal fees, accounting fees, motor vehicle costs, IT costs, staff training, heating and cooling, and on and on and on. These expenses will have to be paid regardless of whether or not you sell anything. Your average gross profit margin per sale is the amount left over from a sale after you have paid the costs directly related to making the sale. These are called direct expenses. And if you are selling physical items, for example computers, they will be the costs like your buy price for the computer components, the salesperson's commission on sale, and if you pay a tech guy a piece rate to build each computer, his build cost. The key factor here is that these costs are only triggered when an item is sold. If there is no direct relationship between the cost being incurred and an item being sold, the cost item should not be included as a direct cost. So let's put some numbers in this to illustrate the formula. Fixed expenses for this month were $25,577.57. While the average dollar sale or average sales invoice value for the month was $2,388.74 with a gross profit margin of 53.65%. This means that every sale contributed an average of $1,281.59 to meet the fixed expenses incurred for the month. This means that to keep the doors open, this business had to make 19.96 sales for the month. In this particular month, they made 25, which means that they broke even on trading day 18 out of 22. Now that's only four days of profit, which is not all that good. But this is where understanding your break-even point well can change your life. For example, what would happen if you could increase your gross profit margin by just 5%, from 53.65% to 58%? You break even a day earlier. And what happens if you could make just two more sales for the month as well? You break even on day 15, three whole days earlier. Finally, add to this a 10% reduction in your fixed expenses and you break even on day 14, which means that you get 8 days of profit instead of 4. And this is the power of understanding your break even point well. By making 3 small changes to the way you do business, you effectively double the days of profit that you have each month. Most business owners that I know would love to double the days of profit that they have each month. Now, if all of this sounds too hard to calculate, we have a neat little application called Where Did The Money Go? which produces a spreadsheet package that does it all for you on a monthly basis for users of QuickBooks Pro, Premier or Enterprise. If you are serious about understanding your business better, then go to www.wheredidthemoneygo.com and download your free 30-day trial today. I'm Rich Blakemore and this has been Business Accounting 101. See you later.